This is Jackie Z. What I'm doing today is I've been making fat quarter zipper bags. I'm a bit of a bag lady, and this is one that I made yesterday. And I made it with the large size pattern from Peggy Sew. So. It's free on her website at PeggySew.com. And the materials that we will need today is the bag parts, a ruler, a pair of scissors, which promptly didn't make it into the screen. You need your trim. You need glue of some kind or Wonder Fuse or some kind of iron-on tape. I'm not going to use those today. I am going to use the Fabric Fusion. And you need Wonder Clips. So, how to add trim to any kind of bag. First of all, you take the piece that you want to do and you measure it across. I want this at two inches above the box pleat cut out. And why two inches? Because that's what I chose. There's no magic number as long as it's above the seam line for the box pleat area. So two inches above just seemed good to me. So you take the ruler and a piece of dressmaker's chalk and why yellow? Because I can see yellow on this royal blue. Take this. Dressmaker's chalk is an interesting thing. There's all kinds of dressmaker's chalk. It comes in blue and kind of an orangey color. White is the one that I use the most, but white did not show up particularly well on this fabric. So when you mark this measurement with the chalk, next you can figure out, now this is gonna be my top measure here. This is gonna be the top of the trim that I add. Once you get that done, then measure it. Measure this across and add two to four inches to the widest point of your placement. If I measure from the top, because this has an angle to it, I'm gonna have to measure from under here somewhere. So, see, I've got it longer and shorter. I decided to use ribbon first. I really liked the red across it. I'm gonna use a red zipper on this particular one. But while I was looking in my edge trim box, I found this edge trim on a spool from Joann's and it's just basically what it is, is a piece of piping that's pre-made. And I liked the look of the white along with this. So what we're gonna do is also put that white on there. Now there is a right side to this, to this piping trim and you can tell so with your fingers. There's often a right side and a wrong side to this grow grain ribbon, but this one's pretty good, so I really don't have to worry about it. Now, one thing I'm gonna say before I get to this, because we're not actually gonna sew this bag together, this is about how to add trim to the bag, is don't put the trim to the lining piece. This is just the batting to this piece of fabric, and I did take a fat quarter, and line it with Quilter's Dream, the poly, the thin poly batting, just a remnant of it, and I machine quilted it on my little Bernina. So we're gonna prepare the trim, and move this all out of the way. And to do so, this stuff, Fabric Fusion, is quick dry, and it's really, really, really thick. And you can see, I can squeeze and squeeze and squeeze, and it's kind of sticky like hot glue is. And at first that was really annoying, but I learned very quickly that I liked that feature. I've already done this and you see that's on there. Is you take this and spread it and use the fact that it's sticky to your benefit because that sticky stuff is wonderful. Press it down with your thumbnail and just keep working across but the pin I use, you can use any kind of pin you want. I'm a professional long armor, so I have lots of these corsage pins that are on my long arm. And what you get when you've done that is 
this. Now, this has been ironed on. If you use the real small amount of the Fabric Fusion, you will notice that you can sew through it and it does not gum your needle up. When I'm through, I'm gonna place the little lace heart on it. This is a lace heart that I made on um, with our, I've digitized it in Art and Stitch and sewed it on my little PE770 Brother embroidery machine. So to recap, what we did was we took our line, the front piece only, only, not the lining. We measured up what we want, in this case two inches, marked a line, we chose our stuff, made it two to four inches wider. You prepare any of it that you want to prepare. And that's what it shall be. You can kind of dry fit it once you get done. Now see, the lining is not as separate from this, even though it's already attached to the zipper on this little bag. The lining is separate. And if I'm careful, that's gonna match right up on the thing. This is Jackie Z. Thanks for watching.